Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Ugh, so episodes of Oblivion are now actually coming out, which is fun and exciting. Oh yeah, Todd. Come on. Um, I learned that, uh, I... <laughs> I was reminded that I decided to pick the Atronach because that goes, that makes for an interesting, that makes for an interesting class. All right, where are we going? We're going to Wayne Priory. But yeah, for, for a while now I've been like, man, why aren't I regenerating mana? And I'm like, doy. I just straight up forgot that I had, you know, done that. Way in priority with Martin and talk to Joffrey. So I have I have seen people talk about um, Joffrey and Martin in the past. I didn't like know much about them, but one thing that I I hello a conjurer. Oh, man, we're getting some good frames. A robe of deflection. That's kind of dope. I'll leave your shoes. Um, sure, I'm definitely trying to think of something. Right. So in, in uh, Morrowind, one thing that I really noticed that I really liked is that at the start of the game... You know, the people you talk to are all like homeless guys, thieves, stooges, you know, employees of the empire, some schmuck, old guys, that sort of thing. And then eventually you end the game talking to like ancient old gods and, you know, mortals who became like deified and all kinds of stuff like that. And that's cool and interesting. A recently abandoned farmhouse. Oh. Interesting. Col Why do they call it Columbine? Were they trying to stick to a decision made in... Slice journal. Scarred page of a journal. Points to an offering of value to something called the Sunken One. Sandstone cavern nearby. Ooh, we should do this. Minette approaches to watch the fires burn. Great city of man, Kvach, lay in ruins. Didn't heed my words, didn't listen to my voice. They're paying the cost of ignorance. The sunken one strikes... Fit. This is like a main quest. It's relevant. That's cool. He swats those who oppose him as if they don't exist. The excuse of man fall on deaf ears. The sunken one has no pity. He has no mercy. He sits below and passes sentence. And with a mighty stroke, he's toppled one of the man's pitiful blights on this land. And yet he still hungers. His appetite's voracious. Kvach will not be the last city to fall by his hand. Well, the man grows more and more corrupt, and it angers him. Man's lies and deceit will be his undoing as the sunken one grows impatient, no longer waits, yada yada. Burn his mind and shoulder, and the last who knows of he who shakes the ground. If I don't bring them the offering, who knows what falls prey to his whim. Uh, continues in that for a while. I should take this with me. It's probably evidence. Gallopers, nice. Um, anyway, yeah, I rarely see people talking about, like, why do you leave it in the cereal bowl? I rarely see people talking about, um, really cool Oblivion NPCs. Almost every single Oblivion, like, thing is, is brought up to how goofy they look or how silly they act. Man, this guy's gonna steal all my levels. Imp gall. Word. Oh yeah, I haven't made any potions. I should do that at some point. Oh, here's Sandstone Cavern. Oh, and there's like guys. So it's like here. 
Oh, here we go. It's all it's all in here. Sweet. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm almost kind of rarely going to see like people who are really cool and fun. Cuz like I feel like their their reputation might precede them otherwise, you know. Oh, cool. And like there's no one that really like Oh, it's it's you, Martin. God damn. There's no one who's like really talked about here. There is someone in the DLC, because I know that like you work for Sheogora. Wow, it is dark. Yeah, rat meat. I know that you work for Sheogorath in um the DLC and like that's cool and that's you know that DLC is a lot closer to what I would want Ooh. but like that's one of those things where like that's not the game that's the DLC and I will play the DLC I intend to play it fully swallowed a lockpick good job puffer Should have had him wait at the start. He's eating me up. Bronze amulet. Ooh. Shway. But yeah, that's something that I'm thinking about. Also, I know that the villain of this game is, like, one of the Daedric Princes. And it's one of the, like, chaotic evil ones. It's... I forget who it is. It's either Dagon... M Merun's Dagon or Molag Ball. And whichever one it's not, that's the villain of um, Elder Scrolls Online. And I've been told that, like, those two guys, in fact, have the same plan. Brass Pearl Ring. Interesting. And a lot of good loot. Nice. You love it. Oh, I should have let him burn me. But yeah, like, if I don't like this game, but I do like the DLC, then I don't like this game, you know? Like, I wouldn't give Oblivion a good score if I don't like it. I do like it. I do want to mention that I do really enjoy this game, but I wouldn't say that, like, wow, Oblivion, best game. You know, even if the DLC is really good. Because the DLC being good doesn't make the game good. I actually really don't like DLC. Like, I rarely buy DLC. I'll buy a, um... I can organize this faster, can't I? There we go. I'll buy a, um... Like, a Game of the Year version. But I personally don't like buying DLC. Live through the, uh, golden age of EA, you know? You know, just like, what if we didn't make this game? We just cut this game up into little pieces and sold those pieces, you know? Like, this game has a $60 buy-in, so you can start buying, you know, pieces of $5 DLC. 
I may at some point need to evolve past that, move on from that, but currently DLC is still kind of predatory. Um... Like, it, it does kind of annoy me how, like, for example, Dark Souls, and to a lesser extent, The Elder Scrolls, but Dark Souls definitely, always invariably, has the coolest boss in the game hidden in the DLC. And, like, in some cases, you're buying, like, Dark Souls 1, I've talked about this in the past, just because, like, goddamn. But Dark Souls 1 has characters who are the four knights of Gwyn. They're Gwyn's four knights, and they're the four knights of Gwyn. They're a big deal, you know? Oops, I didn't mean to take that bone. I don't need it. Um, and now I know that you shit to click. <laughs> it's an abandoned big room. Sandstone big rooms. Okay, well. A little more descriptive than I thought, but that'd be kind of funny if it was called that. Cool. Burn me. Oh, you're shocking me. Uh, Gwyn's Four Knights are talked about extensively in Dark Souls 1. And you can, like, find all their rings and find all their, like, so much lore about them. And you'll only ever meet one of them in the game. And the other three are in the DLC, you know? Also, the man whose fault this whole business is, arguably, is also only found in the DLC of Dark Souls 1. Like, the person who is actually to blame for most of the problems in Dark Souls 1, arguably, is in the DLC. The other guy who's to blame is the real final boss, and the other guy who's possibly to blame is... Um... No, shoot at me. What's happening here? Oh, I'm stuck on the chest. I gotta kick you out, dude. I guess maybe I should take the fact that he's helping me for, uh, for face value, because it is kind of convenient. Okay. Scope ahead here. You see, I want to get my XP for, for killing them. But I also need to get my um, my Magicka up, so I need to let them hit me. And, like, it's not going to hurt me, so whatever. Okay. I'm trying to do it faster, and that's not actually better. But it's one of those things that kind of takes a while, so, like, I'm trying to get faster at it. But better and faster don't always mean the same thing, you know? I should probably try to focus on, like, getting through without breaking any picks. Instead of, like, getting through faster. Lockpicks are normally one of those things where, like, you're going to end up with a million of them. So it's probably not going to be that big of a deal, but. But yeah, one thing that I, like, that is something that I can actually complain about for Morrowind. If you haven't seen my Morrowind LP, go watch it. It's really good. Um, but in Morrowind, like, th the primary worship in the province of Morrowind is, uh... I don't need this. The primary worship in the province of Morrowind is worship of a trio of gods who became mortal called the Tribunal. I don't actually need that either. Um, no, mortals who became gods. Got that backwards. Pardon me. Please, abort typing your angsty comments. I know. Oh my goodness, no one comments on these. Sir? <laughs> they kick. That's funny. I like that. 
Ooh, potion of healing. Shway. Um... Morwen's all about the tribunal, right? And you'll only ever meet one member of the tribunal. Like, the name does imply that there are three of them. I know that not all tribunals technically have three members or three groups that they represent or something like that, but it's called tribunal. You know, they go by the three who are one, the one who are three. Like, you read the names of all three of them about a million times if you go into the books and get into the lore. It's the fucking tribunal. And you only ever meet one of them in the game proper. And maybe that's silly, you know? I don't know if I like that. I th I don't know if they were, like, intentionally taken out. I know that Morrowind, like, every single Bethesda game was rushed. Oh. I should search around him to learn the conclusion. The offering. Some cash. A lot of good cash, too. Clogs? Last journal entry. He fell here believing he was going to meet his god and give an offering to help him to him to help all of Tamriel. His death is a sad end to a well-intended sojourn. Is it? I thought that like he was like a, a, a weirdo. Like... Is that a storm watch knock? Sure is. Yeah, feed me more. I can just hit you back. Awesome. Wait, did they explode? Oh, that was the sunken one. Oh, but it drops void salts. So yeah, it's just a it's a storm knock. Funny. All right, cool. We've done it. We did it, Martin. We saved Slaith, whatever his name was. Wooden door to Stansone Cavern. Wait, yeah, I've been here. Why didn't we go this way first? Or is this going to be one of those like Skyrim door to befores? But yeah, I don't actually know if, like, the DLC of, of Morrowind was, like, cut from Morrowind. Like, Morrowind is not just the island. Morrowind is a province and it has a, a coast, uh, it has two coastlines. But you're only on the island of Vardenfell in the game called Morrowind. And so, like, you're not just on Morrowind, you know? Or you're not on all of Morrowind, you're just on Vardenfell. But Morrowind is a more recognizable term than... Vardenfell. Oh, wait. And, you know, because they're scum, they wouldn't use the real name and call it Resdane. Empire's dogs, you know? I really hate not agreeing with the Empire in the Elder Scrolls, because, like, fuck the Empire, for real. I hate them. But also, like, it makes people think that I do agree with the Stormcloaks in Skyrim. Which is also not true. You know? Free Morrowind, Dark Elves for life. That's that's basically my business. Alright. Uh, let's uh, put our quest on. Cool. Motherwort Spring. Sprig. So is that just like a spirit calling itself the sunken one? Like, is it going a little like Chunbio and is it like thinking of itself as like a cool guy and giving itself a fun little name? Enemies are nearby. Where are they? I do not see them. Also, I know that I can just click on Martin and have him wait, but I, I don't actually want to do that because I feel like if I let him out of my sight, something bad might happen to him. He's voiced by Sean Bean, for God's sakes. Yeah. Second photo steps away from Sean Bean. Death. I mean, you know, it's not the second, but. Can't believe no one told me Sean Bean was in this fucking game. Ooh. And nothing's in here. 
Like, I knew Patrick Stewart's in this game because, like, you meet him in the first 30 seconds and he's the narrator and, like, whatever. What enemies? For real. Dagny's camp. Ooh, he shook me. Where did he go? I hit him with spell of you're not here anymore. Damn, probably had us probably would have had some loot on him. Well then again, maybe he was just packing, you know, just some trash. You realize that all your life you've been coasting along as if you weren't a dream. Facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. That was a while. Uh, also, I think that's the same text from um, Oblivion. I want more strength. I want more intelligence. I'm not regenerating Magicka, so I don't know if that's important. And you know what? We should get some speed. Cool. Does have a positive sale price and a, a uh, positive uh, weight to gold ratio. Something you want to always keep in mind. Deers. Tallwind. Tallwink? Oh, are you like a Nord? Unless you need. I. Unless. To what? Follow me. Wait. Follow me. Wait. Follow me. I don't need to go in there, so I won't. I shan't. Butterfly. <laughs> Why are they gotta make sad dog noise, Bethany? Why do they do that? Okay. Big hills. Yeah, I am curious as to like what the deal with Morrowind's DLCs are. Cause um Blood Moon is is pretty, you know, standard. It does introduce a new island that you maybe should be able to just go on to without paying for it. Cause like it's just a fucking landmass. But then again, it is pretty far out there. Like swimming to Solstheim is very boring. So I can see that like there might just be no reason for you to do that as Nereverine in story as well. And it does have its own completely separate story dealing with a completely outside context problem. Because it's it's not like a tribunal god, it's not related to the heart of Lorcan. Like, the, the DLC Tribunal does have stuff related to all of that. It has direct aftermath relating to the rise and fall of Dagoth Ur and the destruction of the Heart of Lorcan. Spoilers for Morrowind. I guess, like, spoilers if you're, like, right in the middle of Morrowind. Because if you've never played Morrowind, then those things mean nothing to you. And if you haven't beaten it, which, oh, if you've started Morrowind you don't, and you didn't beat it, I fucking get it. But if that happened to you then it makes sense that, like, then that's the only way that that could be a spoiler. For Derek, I feel like the, the fact that people love to restart Morrowind and be like, okay, what about this time? You know, make a new character this time that does this. I feel like the fact that they do that... Okay, this is my active quest, right? What's the map this one is? Here we go. 
I feel like my quest to Kvach was shorter than my quest from Kvach. Did I do that right? Yes, leaving Kvach feels longer than going there. You know, in the Elder Scrolls universe, the Eagles actually rode Hotel, Hotel Kvach. Great joke. Didn't botch it at all. But yeah, the fact that you never get to explore mainland Morrowind in the game called Morrowind is kind of weird. Um, and, like, the DLC that lets you explore it just lets you explore the capital city. And, like, it's a huge bitchin' city. It's cool and all. And, like... Oh, did I actually get it that time? Yes, I did. Because the other times, they were like, hey, observe the law. And then I think that they were just like... Etchnock birth sign. Etchnock birth sign. Scale of Julianus. Fortifies my intelligence. Sweet. What is this? Drain speed and agility. Damn. I guess I've got to drink a potion of disease curing, right? Which is in here, huh? Okay, what do we got? We got beer. Sergiolic bandy. Cure poison. And I imagine the diseases would be like right in there, wouldn't they? Cure disease. This one cures disease. Was that elf nuts? Elf cup cap. Burn and damage willpower. I actually really just like making potions. You know? I, I love just, like, combining ingredients and knowing that my stats are going up and, like, knowing that I'm getting rid of all this stuff in my inventory and, like, that's cool to me. I love doing that. Interesting that you start this game, because, uh, like, in, in Morrowind, if you go to loot a plant, they just give it to you. Um... But, like, it's like you're looking... It, like, when you click on a plant in, in Morrowind, it's like you click on a plant that's a chest. And the item in the chest is the plant. So that's kind of silly. Um, and in Skyrim, like, you click on a plant and it just gives you the plant. You know, like you, like you just picked it for real. Hack dirt. Manika? Moslin's in. Ooh, I might be able to hawk some shit here. Hmm. Guest rooms, plural. Okay. They get locked in for the night? That's kind of weird. In the Hackdirt Caverns. Let me give you some advice. Make it quick. Hmm. Silly. Whatever you want. Well done. What nonsense. You think that's funny? I'm not impressed. Say what you're going to say. That's weird. Stop talking. Enough. Go on. So? 
that's just stupid. Oh, I see. Whatever you want. What a great story. Excellent. I accept. I'll take that. And thank you very much. But he doesn't like this, but it's the only one I can click. Don't try. Excellent. Stop talking. That was weird and dumb. I guess he's not a wholesaler. You're not wi Is this because I stole that one thing? We don't like st Or or is Hector just fucking weird? This guy's name is also Moslin. People were relatively normal to me in Kvach, but that was because, you know, it was blown up. Well, I've been going for enough. Um, I'm going to cut the episode here, and maybe I'll walk the rest of the distance. I'll come back in if anything interesting happens, but um, I've been Alfred. This has been Oblivion. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. I did. Bye.